Be honest. Be honest. 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 <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Amy Trudad and I'm doing a video for simple encouragement about friendship, to friendship. And here is my best friend, Hi. Jessica. She came and visited me here, all of the way here, three hours away. And it's like, hey, what's your friendship? <laughs> I know the girl. <laughs> so yes, so... We want to talk about just genuine friendships, uh, what it means to be a genuine friend and what it means to seek a genuine friend, what that looks like. Not that we are like experts in it, but... We fight. Yes, we do. We fought a long time before we even became best friends, mm -hmm. actually. Yes. Sometimes we clash, but that's because the truth is coming out, you know? If we're all goody-goody all the time, then there's something might be wrong. Yeah. Really. <laughs> but, um... The awesome thing about Jessica that I admire is that she's not scared to tell me the truth. And even if it hurts, even when it hurts. Anyways. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's how else are you supposed to truly know you're going to keep living a lie. And you won't be, I don't know, sh iron sharpens iron mm -hmm. type of thing. It's good. And I really, really like that because if you keep living on a lie, then you will never get better yeah, I, I ran out of space in my <laughs> keeping it truthful keeping it real <laughs> but i was gonna say that's so simple but that's what we're talking about simplicity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah because when you have people surrounding around you that are living lies and feeding you lies then you're going nowhere but in a dark lie pit and so um it's it's so awesome to have people outside of yourself and inside of your thoughts to mm -hmm. shed light on some things that are very clear to them that you're blinded by. And so, which I think is an awesome representation of the body of Christ as mm -hmm. well, because Amy, like, she's very honest. She's very loud, you guys. You don't think so. She loud. I'm shy. She loud. And, um... <laughs> Like she tells me like it is too, which I love. And like she's honest. She's very graceful when I'm not with myself. <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, like it, it takes work for sure. You have to want friendship. You have to want people to be there for you, to hold you accountable for mm -hmm. stuff that you know you need accountability for and just be open with. Like Amy, she's definitely one of the very, 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 very few people I can just be completely honest and open with. And so without her being like, I mean, sometimes she would tell me that it's not right and it's not smart. <laughs> but again, it'll go back to it's. She's very graceful and truthful with that as well. Good, so. yeah. But yeah, I just want to encourage everybody to be a true friend to your friend and at least find one person you can be honest with because if you have like that secret sin, secret sin in your life, then how else are you going to like be delivered and free from that if you don't confess it and say, oh no, I confess it to God. But if you don't have a person walking with you, then you are more susceptible to like just trip over it again mm -hmm. and and it's people you know again keeping accountable doesn't mean oh you're doing this wrong you're doing that wrong it's like hey i see you going into a little spiral again mm -hmm. it's like what's wrong with you i want to hear what you have to say what's really wrong now what's up oh good good you know like no hey this is happening mm -hmm. but you know and the awesome thing that i like about jessica is she also encourages me like hey do you ask god before you went to me like that's really important too because we, it's not about depending on each other so much that the other person becomes like God over your life. You know, you going to people all the time is not healthy either. You have your own relationship with God to do, to do that, but God also gave you people to keep you accountable and help you in your daily life to build you up as well. And mm -hmm. going piggybacking off of what Amy said about you know confessing to one another, James says that. When we confess our sins to one another, we get we're healed. Mm -hmm. We're healing. We get healed when we confess our sins to one another. And so clearly, God wants us to have people because confessing our sins to ourselves is great. I mean, 
kind of going this confess it to Christ, but confessing it to one another so that we can be healed, so that we can build one another up and pray for one another. That's mm-hmm. another thing. Having somebody to actually pray for you is, I think, one of the most important ways someone can show that they care about you. Um, praying for you to your face and behind your back. <laughs> yeah. I want somebody praying for me behind my back. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Having your back. Yeah, I got, I got your, got your back. back, girl. <laughs> I'm yeah. for you, for real. <laughs> but it's it's really encouraging to have friends and that love Jesus and that can also point you back to the Word. Mm-hmm. Um, if anything goes wrong or, or like snap you out of the little thoughts and things that happen inside our heads and bring you back to reality and just point you back to Christ. I think the best friendships are the ones that point you back to Christ and not to themselves. So I, again, you know, we help each other. We listen to each other. It's not one sided, you know, like we have, we share pretty evenly, which is like, whoa, this is the first <laughs> friendship we share pretty evenly really? on sides. Like, how's your day? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm sorry. It took two hours. It's okay. I take two hours too. I so, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so it's pretty even sided and, and it's not about one of us, which is the awesome thing. It's about both of us and like what God is doing is about Christ, which is the best thing yeah. ever. Not like everybody wants to talk about Jesus all the time, but she does. She does too. <laughs> so that's really cool, you know, being able to talk about, hey, what's happening now and day and in the Bible and how seeing everything being fulfilled. So I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> so, yeah, little simple encouragement. Be encouraged. Be honest. Yes. And love others. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. What's great? What's great? That I can be weird with you. <laughs> you speak! Be honest. Be honest. I'm busy. <laughs> So it's rising up out the dust. I'm just kidding. Because yeah. <laughs> I have to back up. Oh. Mama, 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 mama. Mommy made me match my MNL.